What's going on, guys? It's prime time. Today's um, movie review is going to be a little bit different today. Um, very kind of kind of a little sickly. So we're just going to have the screen. Anyways, today's movie is going to be Santa Claus. This movie is about a man named Scott Calvin. And Scott, he and his wife are divorced, or a separated divorce, same thing. And they have a son named Charlie. So while, you know, Charlie goes to live with his dad for the week, it just happened to be the week of Christmas. And, you know, he doesn't really believe in that Santa Claus kind of stuff, but Charlie does. And one night, uh, Santa Claus appears on their roof and he hears them. And he goes out and says, what are you doing? And Santa Claus falls. And after he fell, that's when life changed for Scott Calvin. Because, well, everything happened. He went up there. He noticed that there was reindeer. And then he, he looked back down at the dude. And the dude was gone. And it was just a suit. So he put on the suit. And then, I guess, delivered the rest of the presents for that night. And then they went. They ended up going to the uh, North Pole. And after they got to the North Pole, uh, you know, it was kind of weird for things. He had a head elf named Bernard and different stuff like that. And, uh, you know, he was kind of like, this is all awkward and stuff because, you know, he didn't believe in Santa. And Charlie, his son, was just excited and ecstatic that they, they was in the workshop and place and stuff like that. So when he woke up, he woke up at his house with an SC on his pajamas. He thought of Scott Calvin with Santa Claus and then Charlie woke up. Remembers everything, so he tells all this this wild story to his parents, and they don't believe him. So it's like, oh, you have him thinking some weird stuff. So then, yeah, so he thinks somebody's just messing with him or something. So Charlie's at school telling all his friends and stuff about how his dad is Santa Claus, but you know nobody really knows what's going on. So uh, Scott gets a lot of gifts to his house, and he was like, this is the list. So he said, the list, what list? So he has a list and it's like filling up his whole house. You know, the list, he's checking the list, making the list, checking it twice, you that. So he, he he's checking his list and all that kind of stuff. And now he's getting bigger and he's growing a beard and he can't, he cut it like five times. He looked in the mirror and it grew right back. So yeah, now on to the weird part, not really the weird part, you know, it's like, it's a year past. And I guess he actually he actually accepts his role as Santa. So there's a year pass that he's ready this time because when he first went there, they even they even had a little um thing with this little girl. When he first went there, he told her that he liked sour milk and he didn't like cookies or something. So the next year he came, he was like, "Oh, this milk is a uh, latte or something." He was like, "You remember, didn't you?" Well, thank you for remembering. So you know, little little stuff like that is like, oh, "Okay, I like how they actually care to connect." some things with the movie the parents still don't believe him and he ends up getting thrown in jail because they thought that he kidnapped his son charlie when in fact charlie wanted to go with him to the north pole to help for christmas so he gets in jail elves and what were they called elves with attitude or something like that they they break him out of jail and then um everyone sees it's actually him scott calvin as santa claus with the reindeer and stuff and everybody ends up believing him and I did like, I actually liked that they had Judge Ryan out in this movie. Because uh, I know him for Beverly Hills Cop. So I was, I was kind of glad to see him in this movie as well. He played Neil. He was kind of like a nerdy, um, what do you call those? When you, when you laying in the, laying in the chair and they, how, how do you feel about this and that? But yes, he was there. And then they finally believe him. And then they finally let him go. And he said, whenever you want to see me, you just shake this, uh, globe. So he left like 20 minutes. So he shook it again. He came. He was like, "Come on, man! I was on my way to Ohio. You can't be doing this every second now. And you missed me already." He wanted to see did it actually work, I guess. But yes, that was Santa Claus. It's kind of like a family movie every year for people to watch. This and other Christmas movies and the other Santa Claus movies are pretty much like I would say this is a good Christmas movie to me because it's a family movie. You can watch it with anybody. I know some some Christmas movies you can't watch with your family. You can just watch it with like. Uh, older people so i would say if i had to give this a grade i would give it 
Well, since on this grading scale is different, I would actually give it a B, a solid B, maybe a B minus ish. But yes, this movie is okay in my book. What would you give this movie? And what is your favorite scene in this movie? That's that wraps it up for the movie review. Prime time is all the time. Do you want this doll or not? Go back to sleep. You're supposed to drink the milk. Look, I am lactose intolerant, and I am just about this close to taking all those presents back to the chimney with me.